All right, so we did a vote on YouTube and Ellie De La Cruz won half of those votes out of 60. So our franchise player lock is going to be Ellie De La Cruz. Of course, there will be more. So I will go and sh go back. And when I do this again, we'll pick another player. But Ellie De La Cruz is going to be our first player that we go through within a franchise and see if we can win the World Series. Let me know, should we play multiple seasons? Should we sim through the seasons? Should we play with the card a lot? Let me know how you guys wanna see the content going forward after this video. But we're gonna go ahead and skip, set up all this, this stuff doesn't really matter to me anyways. We're gonna go to the regular season. So how we do the player lock is when we play next game, it will stimulate everything prior to that, but we'll also be able to do player lock. So we'll be able to go here, Press player lock, and then we'll be able to player lock to, to Ellie De La Cruz, which is already an 87 overall, which is kind of nice for us. Shouldn't be terribly too hard to get him up there to a 99 overall or win the World Series. Another thing with this series is what difficulty should we play on? Should we play Hall of Fame or Legend? I'm going to start off with Legend, see how it goes. We're going to try and make it more difficult for us, but let's go ahead. Let's hop into like the first series with the player lock with Ellie De La Cruz and see what we can do. All right, we got Ellie De La Cruz up at bat here in the bottom of the second. And we take ball one, one and oh right there. Come on, give us something good to hit. The stadium, not the greatest completely. Jake Irvin just dotted me right there. Ball two up in the sky. Can't even see that pitch, but okay. Two and one. A little late on that one. Two and two. I've not played Legend at all. So this should be very, very interesting. I might switch to Hall of Fame after this at bat because I have not played hardly any Legend. Or maybe I will not. Our first at bat of the season with Ellie De La Cruz on Legend is a perfect perfect moonshot 115 off the bat we'll definitely take that what a debut for us on legend difficulty with ellie de la cruz Ooh, i almost wanted to do it again all right oh and one all right we take ball one one and one right here Ooh, just missed that one, Ellie. Quick bat, though. Just a little bit early on it. He takes ball two. Good eye. Come on, Ellie. Here we go. Good fight. Fought it off. Don't know how we fought that one off, but we fought it off. And we strike out. Legend's going to be tough, man. We may have got lucky that first at bat because he threw a perfect pitch for us to hit. But here we go. Against a lefty now. He's not the greatest against lefties. And first pitch. Probably shouldn't have swung at that. Especially on levels and difficulty. Can you get down? Better believe it. Hopefully we get off base and steal some bases as well. I might have to turn base running on. It might be off right now. I'll definitely check that before the next episode. Down the line. Stay fair. Does not. Curves foul on us. That would have been a great hit right there. We're one for three on the day though. But we do have a moonshot. And that's going to be a ground out, a double play. No double play. And now we're about to find out. And we won the game. So apparently, maybe you don't have fielding on, or uh, base running on. So we we'll have to turn that on. And so let's go ahead and exit out of this and get into the next game. All right. Game number two. Ellie De La Cruz first at bat here. And he's going to take strike one with the curveball on the outside part of the plate. All right, 0 and 1. Inside for ball one. Down the line, just foul. Three and two to Ellie. Runner in scoring position. Two out. Bottom of the first. And check swing. He went around. We strike out with Ellie to the cruise right there. All right, down by one, bottom four. We take strike one high. I really cannot see that pitch. I can't even see the strike zone up high. 
Strike two. All right. 0 and 2 early here. Let's see if we can fight these off. And we take a little swing at it. We'll get over his head. It will. And we get a runner on first. Ellie gets on first. Runner moves to second. One out. We did not score apparently that inning and it simulated it. Well, that sucks in a way. I don't know why it's doing that because I turned that off. But it's six, nothing Washington, but we are one for two. Our first hit was not the greatest, but we'll take it. Ooh, 0-2 right there. We might have to switch to Hall of Fame though, because this is uh, definitely tough, especially when you don't play Legend every day. But we got a hold of that one. And will it be a second home run? It will not. It dies at the warning track. But we do move a runner over to third with two out. All right. We got one run on the board. And we now are down by five here in the bottom of the eighth. One out here. One oh count. Let's see if we can make any magic happen here. Dead center. That ball is going to get caught. It's a weak hit to dead center. Weak out. We lose that game 6-2. to two. Let's go ahead and finish out this series and see what we can do in game number three. All right, here we are. Ellie De La Cruz, game number three. Hall of Fame difficulty this time around. 0-1. But at least... I feel like I can see the ball a little bit better. Let's see what we can do against Mackenzie Gore here. Facing two lefties is not ideal for Ellie. Uh, 54 contact and 45 power versus lefties. Uh, so that might be why the last game did not go the greatest either. Is because majority of the game we were facing a lefty. And he is much better against righties. That's the ball. Well, hopefully we get those lefty numbers up. Two and two. We got a 2-2 two -two count here. And inside pitch that might drop. It will not, but I mean that pitch was kind of dotted, kind of had a swing at it, try to fight it off. Unfortunately, uh, we kept it fair. And it is 0 0 here. But not no more. Perfect, perfect change up down the middle. Ellie De La Cruz, his second home run of the video, his second home run of the season, his second home run over 110 miles per hour. Let's go. And it's a tie game here in the bottom of the sixth. Oh, we missed one right down the middle. If that was a changeup, it's gone, but it was a fastball. We were early. I mean, if it was a, never mind. Don't mind anything I just said. But we did get one. Oh, he's going to throw him out at third, though. He threw him out at third, but we got another hit. We got another hit. So we're two for three on the day. Hopefully, by the next episode, I can actually, uh, Run on the base pads, but it's a tie game. Ooh. All right. 2-2 two, two count. Or 0-1 oh, count. 2-2 two, two ball game. Not no more. Ellie De La Cruz gives us the lead. His second home run of the game. His third home run of the season. Ellie De La Cruz, 109 miles an hour off the bat. But we go to the bottom of the ninth, down by two. Man on first, two out. Can Ellie tie it up? Ball. Crucial situation. They're putting a lot of pressure on Ellie, the best player on the team. So can he come through for his squad here? He takes a fastball down the middle for strike one. 1-1. One, one. All right, one and two. Bottom of the ninth, two out. 2-2. Two, two. Ellie's three for four on the day, though. He takes another one. Deep center field. And that ties the ball game. His third home run of the game. And then Abrams hit, hits a sack fly in the bottom of the 10th. And the Reds win the game thanks to Ellie De La Cruz. Tying two-run home run in the bottom of the ninth. Four for five. Three home runs and four RBIs on the game. If you guys enjoyed first episode of Ellie Delo Cruz's 
debut franchise. Can he lead the Cincinnati Reds to the World Series? We will find out. Be sure you guys like, follow, share, favorite the video, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.